Magandang araw ka bola. Sa video na ito, ilalabas na po natin ito pong updated mock draft po natin ka bola. Siguro marami nagtatanong sa inyo bakit ang aga-aga po natin pinag-uusapan ng mock draft, di ba? Right away after the draft, naglabas agad po tayo ng mock kasi ganun naman po talaga ang ginagawa po ng mga top international leagues in terms of mock drafts, di ba? Nilalabas na po yan even just after the draft to prepare you po mga kabola sa mga pwede pong sumali para familiar na po kayo and of course para ma-follow nyo po yung movement in terms of hype in terms of the analysis din ng mga teams di ba yung mga naririnig natin mga rumors kung sino po yung mga magtatap po sa draft po na ito so sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe ka bola pakipindot naman po yung subscription uh, button so before we go into that let's have one rumor stating that pag number one yung pick ng Blackwater asahan yung biglang sasali yan sina Baltasar Ramos 3D tas biglang mapagilas drop ulit actually yung gilas drop I think is already a sure thing kasi if I'm not mistaken, I remember that they told the media in the first uh, Gilas Drop that this Gilas Drop will happen up to 2022 ata as pa preparation nga po ito for the 2023 FIBA World Cup and also na rin sa mag-build up po ng ating national team. Now, the rumor for this one I think is accurate in a way kasi nga po, uh, if a Gilas Drop happens just the way the past Gilas Drop happens then having a Blackwater pick at the top means you will also have a pick in the Gilas draft that will mean that kung sino mo po makatanggap ng Blackwater pick will get two players di ba? and those two top players from that draft can of course join po the MVP group kasi nga Blackwater is the prime team po ng MVP group so it's not shocking if suddenly Baltasar Ramos and Terry will join po all the out of the three ang pinaka expect ko na mag-join ko sa kasakali po is Terry Ravenna kasi Terry Ravenna Even though he was the one who opened the floodgates po of players joining International League, he also have a promise in a way po that he will return to the PBA and this will be the perfect opportunity for him to make sure that he will still play po for an MVP team. Ito naman po si na Dwight Ramos siguro yung pangalawa po natin kasi nga ilang mga analyst na ilang mga coaches na nagsasabi that he's already PBA ready although that also means that he is so good that he should be trying to play on another higher league compared po sa PBA and I think ang last na yung natin si Baltasar because I do not really think that he's well connected now with the MVP group knowing that he came from De La Salle and De La Salle as far as I know is a team that was supported po by the San Miguel Corporation now for this um, mock draft po gagamitin po natin na uh, Order is using the standings and one thing that is really fascinating now about the standings is the fact that Phoenix has traded the first round pick po to Alaska so Alaska now have a top 3 pick in running if this type of standing will sustain and of course malayo-layo pa tayo halos di pa nakaka lahati po itong ating pong tournament so marami pang pwedeng mangyari so ano pang initin natin kabola ito na po yung ating mock draft
So as you can see Binalik po natin si Teddy Ravena Kasi nga siya yung pinang inexpect natin bumalik Pero hindi muna natin ganoon si Idrip po si Dwight Ramos At saka si, si Dwight Ramos Kasi nga po hindi pa siya nakakalaro sa UAP ba diba? So hindi pa muna siya kinonsider So ano masabi nyo po sa kinuha ng favorite team nyo Comment lang po sa baba